Hey folks, this is CEO speaking. Remember that anytime you type a key of your keyboard, the computer is recognizing a kind of hexadecimal code, a unique ID for each key. A hexadecimal is intimately related to binary, actually. So the project I presented to you last time was just able to read partial codes of these keys. And uh, he wasn't using any computer any programming line, just a simple hardware schematic. And uh, I'm reminding you the diagram uh, already presented. And uh, using standard seven segment displays, they were not able to recognize hexadecimal numbers. Actually, they were able to only recognize numbers zero to nine, but not the ones 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. According to the extract of the manufacturer specs, which is right here, remember the symbols you could read for A, B, C, D, E, and F. So take a look here, what do we have right now on the display? It's a double A. Um, and they are related to the keys we press. So if we take a look here at the correspondence between the uh, hexadecimal codes and the keys, Let's say uh, if you type the letter A right here, you should read for the letter A 1C. So you take a look on the display 1C, that little symbol recognized here for C, okay? And then if you type the letter B, the letter B is going to be 32. Why? Because here in the top, if you take a look, B is 32. And if we pick up, let's say, another letter, which is S, we pick up the letter S right here. The letter S, you see here, is going to be recognized as one B because B is that symbol here. So one B. And uh, one last uh, example, uh, let's say the letter T. If I press the letter T, According to my list here, it should be 2C, and this is exactly 2C. Today, we're going to wire this project from scratch, and uh, I just want to show you my setup before we started. Again, this is the project I presented you last time. And if we come here closer, this is going to be a breadboard. We don't need a trainer. The most of us, we don't have one at home, but we have uh, access to uh, buy uh, a breadboard. This one is, more, is made of one, two, three sections. They are gonna be more than enough for our project. So for the whole setup, here is my binary clock. Here is the Nixie tube one. Here is my workstation number. And this is the diagram we're going to follow. Uh, in order for us to easily identify the integrated circuits, I put some labels on them. If you don't have uh, network resistors like this one, it doesn't matter. You're going to place seven resistors. They can be any value between uh, approximately 200 to 400 ohms. So there are two of them. Of course, the two uh, uh, digits, seven segment displays, these ones are common anode. And then we're going to have the two decoders and one inverter package. And finally, two shift registers, 74164. So using that diagram, we're gonna be able to reconstruct exactly the project which is already wired on the trainer, okay? So again, this time, we're going to only use a simple breadboard. Another reminder is all integrated circuits, as I prepared here, a bigger one is right here. They have a notch. The notch is the little indentation you can identify right here, right here on the left side, okay? And this is uh, for the purpose to catch up the pin number one, which is right, the first pin underneath, right here, okay? So this is a bigger integrated circuit. We don't need to use this one. 
hours are a bit smaller, but we have to still respect the same principle of operation. So they are going to have uh, the notch oriented in the top. Of course, I have a bunch of wires. We're going to need to make our project working, okay? So at the end of it, when everything is gonna work fine, we're going to connect these little Texas Instrument uh, uh, hexadecimal decoders. And uh, don't forget, I'm going to publish uh, this uh, diagram uh, uh, online. Each of you, you're going to have access to easily copy and see it. And this is the connector. We're going to use the PS2 connector to connect our keyboard. Uh, excepting in the moment we have to put it on the breadboard, we need a kind of breakout board like this one, because otherwise we won't be able to connect it directly, okay? And uh, let's start to do the wiring.